Okay, so today we are going to teach you how to install the key ignition into the 08 scooter but this could easily apply to you know many other scooters such as the Inokim Quake, you know the Inokim Ox, the 08, 09, 010 for all things that do not have the key ignition. So this is a good um, something you can just buy on our website. Uh, we're going to teach you how to install it in a moment but just some prep work right so you get three wires coming out from this uh, key ignition this key ignition comes with a key lock right which disables and enables the scooter and also a um, battery voltmeter right this would tell you the life of the battery and how much life there is left You want to remove the insulation. Right, so you know, just get the uh, copper strands out. So you can join them up with, right, you can join them up with your LCD uh, wire here. Right, so after cutting the LCD, right? LCD wires are normally six, seven wires. Or yeah, so this is a six wire, right? So we've cut, we've just cut this two wires. Now some scooters like the Inokim Quick, uh, the IMAX or the Inokim Ox, they come with connectors. So what you need to do is you just need to unplug those two connectors, and you cut it. Just uh, cut the wire just coming out from the LCD, right? Don't cut the wire after the connector. Right, so always remember um, if there's a connector, just remove the connector first and then you do the cut. Otherwise, you, uh, you're technically still connected to the battery and uh, you know, sparks may happen if you do a short, accidentally have a short circuit. So what we're doing right now is uh, we're preparing for um, the resoldering back. So what we want to do is we want to uh, just remove all the all the wires to use, remove all the insulation for the wires. Um, right. I mean the right way to do it is use the after you move, remove each of this. Remember to use uh, electrical tape, right, to shield each one of them, right especially when you remove the red and the black one because these are direct lines into the battery right so make sure that you know before you remove the insulation use electrical tape to cover every single one of them All right same for same for here on the lcd end All right so let's uh, proceed to connect up the key lock the key ignition Okay, so we're going to connect the green wire to the green wire, um, green to green, of course, right? And then uh, you con connect every color by matching the wire color. Right, so right now we are joining the colored wires only, right? Um, and shielding them with. Uh, insulation so removing the black wires and connecting it to the black wire of the key ignition So we are 
using a heat string right to uh, insulate at all the all the wires okay so we are leaving the red to the last all the colored wires have been connected including the black uh, the black uh, wire is connected to the key start black wire too all right so we're going to work on the red color Now I already confirmed that this one, okay, right. this is for this, and this is for this one, okay, so, squeeze, right, so we're going to join the red and the red, the red wire of the key ignition to the red wire of the LCD. Insulate it using heat strength. Now the remaining green wire, the green wire will be joined to the red wire of the Control. of the controller. There you go. All right now, okay, and it turns on nicely. Does it work? Okay, throttle up. Nice. Okay, so turn off, turn off the key, and everything shuts off. There you go. All right, so this one gets mounted into your handlebar. All right, so you can mount it as a uh, you know security lock. Right. So all this, uh, you know, just tidy this up, and what you do is you use a wire wrap to uh, protect a wire wrap like that. Uh, well, use a bigger heat string to uh, you know string everything up first, and then use a wire wrap. Okay, so this is what the final uh, result looks like. Everything is. Uh, wrapped up nicely right and you can mount you can mount the lcd onto the separate handlebar here or you can mount it onto your main handlebar right so there you go turn it on right the, this is the accurate voltage that the battery is at it's at 50.4 volts right this allows you to turn on the scooter right of course the scooter the LCD that has a its own voltage too, which is fifty point nine, and you see it's uh, fifty point four here, but this is always more accurate. 